Step in the name of love. 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 Step, step, side to side. Round and round. Dip it now. Separate. Bring it back. And let me see you do the love slide. What's up, collective? I'm coming to drop some knowledge on y'all and come invest into some love in your life. Okay? Speak some life into your life collective what's up welcome to essential energy 8408 i am your spiritual homegirl essential energy come in come all all are welcome old new okay curious nosy whatever you welcome come on in and as you come on in like the video subscribe because it's a vibe over here real spit what's up y'all we gonna do some dropping knowledge but before we get into all of that Something about divine timing. Whatever your question is, is about to happen in divine timing. Just set your sight high. But anyway, so we're going to pray before we get a little knowledge, y'all. Okay, so let's give um, praise and thanks and gratitude to the, the high power, okay? The higher power. So, most gracious heavenly... Father, thank you for divinely protecting us as we enter into the spiritual realm. Thank you for covering our families with peace and prosperity. Thank you for divinely protecting us with your beautiful guardian angels, Father God. Thank you for blocking anything that's negative, evil thought, evil eye, evil intent, even violent, Father God. And thank you for returning it right back to sender. Anything that is love, uplifting, growth, elevation, happiness, peace, prosperity, love, joy, we return that, those high vibrations, return those right back to sender 10 times fold, 100 times fold, 1,000 times fold, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the peace that you have granted upon us. Thank you, thank you for covering our homes, our peace, our energies, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ashe, Ashe, amen, I'm gonna stay. So, what I'm hearing is, you know, everybody is starting to wake up out of the matrix, right? Right. Even especially after, you know, what happened some, a couple, like three years ago, if y'all catch my drift, you feel me, when the whole world was on clink, clink, okay? So, y'all trying to understand about... The zodiac chart, which is your um, your birth chart, your blueprint of your life, right? No matter what sign you are, we'll get into that. Also, you're trying to understand the difference between religion, spirituality, and practicality, okay? So, we're going to say, we're going to start with religion. Religion is the belief in worship of a superhuman power or powers, especially a god or gods, right? So that's what we, some of us were brought and raised into our families as traditional, right? Going, going to church. Number one, church is not a building. It is the people, okay? We're having church right now. We're talking about spirituality, religion, understanding self, you feel me? Praising God, the higher power, the universe, the angels, the ancestors, the spirit guides, the spirit tribe. You feel me? We're having church right now. You feel me? So it's not mediocre. This is something that you are learning today and dropping knowledge. Okay? So religion, it means it is a set of organized beliefs, practices, and systems that most often relate to the belief and worship of a controlling force such as a personal God or another supernatural being, okay? So it's nothing wrong if you choose to be religious. Why? Because at the end of the day, is we all serving the same God. It's just different names, okay? Names, <clears throat> same face, okay? So that is religion. Now, spirituality, the quality of being concerned with the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. So pretty much spirituality is is an energy that can um, relate to the birds, the bees, the, the grass, the trees, self. Understanding self, understanding that energy is everything, right? It also means... It involves the, the recognition of a feeling or sense or belief that there is something greater than myself, something more to 
being human than sensory experience and that the greater whole of which we are part in cosmic or or divine nature okay so like me i i grew up in a a christ a christian home right but i drifted away from that not that i was drifting away from god but i just could not relate to that I, to that i couldn't relate to that so of course i have went on with my life da, 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 and here i am today and i i'm into spirituality you know what i'm saying i don't have no label over me other than i'm a spiritualist i believe in the higher power i believe in the universe i don't believe things happen on co and co um, uh, coincidentally you feel me i believe that god is you god is me meaning that god is in you and god is in me if, if god if things you know what I'm saying? And before our eyes are dying and they come back to, to get, like, come back. That ain't man doing that. Or when you see, like, beautiful things that we know man did not create. You know what I'm saying? It's just, if, you, if you're spiritual, you understand what I'm saying, okay? you It's a feeling, a feeling. You know what I'm saying? Just seeing another different uh, image of God and something else or somebody else is what I'm trying to say. Or feeling it, you feel me? And practicality, practicality, the quality of state of being practical, the aspects of a situation that involve the actual doing or experience of something rather than theories or ideas, okay? So pretty much, you know, in this sense of this 3D, where we could touch and feel, you know what I'm saying? Um, the illusion pretty much is practicality or just trying to... Um, balance uh how can i say this i hope y'all catching what i'm saying <laughs> well anyway the state of being practical you know what i'm saying logical knowing how to move this is chess not checkers bitch okay in so many words so also we learning about contracts okay it's two different kind of contracts contract and a spirit a, a, soul, a spiritual soul contract okay so contract in this practical life it is an agreement between two or more parties creating obligations that are enforceable or otherwise recognizable at law the writing that sets forth such as agreement a contract is valid if valid under the law of the residence of the party wishing to enforce the contract okay so contracts are like something that you know you pretty much sign your life on so rather if it's a loan um some type of documentation um making a pact with something you feel me uh living situations cars uh jobs you know that's a contract that you're signing your your life or your are you putting your autograph on the line right and spiritual soul contract that is um are agreements made before birth between you and your soul family they carry over through many lifetimes before being completed they are there are excuse me there are three types of contracts positive negative and neutral all three teach you a soul lesson, but express themselves in your life different in different ways, okay? So, before you come into this planet called Earth, you actually pick the family that you want, the lessons that you need to learn from, okay? And it's something where you, you continue in this lifetime until it's time for you to pass on the baton before you become an ancestor or something like that okay but it's something in this in this spiritual contract that you chose this life you feel me either way whether we have free will but you chose this life you either chose to come in to clear up karmic debt you came to be to bring karma into somebody's life or you claim you came in here to get karma that's just the contract okay so let's talk about the zodiac signs okay the aries the taurus the gemini the cancer the leo the virgo the libra the scorpio the sagittarius the capricorn the aquarius and the pisces okay that is a zodiac chart right there okay excuse me if you guys looking all in my mouth i did have some coffee so sorry excuse me but anyway this is your signs, okay? It says, a birth chart shows us who we are at our core. It calculates 
the uh, astrological aspects and sensitive angles of the magical moment are birth. Following through, we first must acknowledge all the signs of the zodiac. Each of us all have our own zodiac sign. These signs determine us, determines us who we are at our core. Okay, so if you are, you know, what I'm saying part of this essential energy tribe. I always say go check your um, birth charts. Go look at your birth charts because it's so much in depth and understanding in who you are. Yes, we are. We all know our sun sign. You know what I'm saying? You could either be a water, earth, air, or fire sign. You feel me? But it's more to you than that meets the eye. So you understand yourself more if you go look in your birth chart. Also, it tell you the type of lifestyle you're supposed to have. You feel me? In this lifetime, it's the blueprint of your life. If you're supposed to be famous, if you're supposed to be rich, if you're supposed to be married, who you can congregate with, who you're not supposed to congregate with, if you're supposed to be, if you're supposed to be married, or are you supposed to be single? Like, it just tell you, like, different dynamics of who you are. Why you moody? Why do you feel this way when you know that you move this way okay it's just an understanding of understanding self okay so that's the zodiac chart in the zodiac chart we know there are 12 different signs they claim to be 13 but i don't know i'm just going off what my intuition is telling me so there are 12 different signs four elements okay three groups of four different type of signs Hopefully, y'all can get what I'm saying, okay? So, even though we know it's four elements, it's uh, water, air, earth, fire, right? And we know there's four seasons, allegedly. Fall, winter, summer. No, what is it? Fall, winter, summer, sp spring, summer, okay? So, in these, we have fixed signs. The fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius, the meaning of these fixed signs, they are immovable. They're fixated and can also be stubborn. They are the doers of the zodiac. A lot of work, really hard to carry out. The ideas and visions shared by the cardinal signs, right? Taurus. Taurus signs are earth signs, okay? Excuse me, that was a spiritual belch. They are accumulation of material possessions. They are workaholics. They like money you feel me they possess something tangible okay where leo is a fire sign okay self-expressive highly artistic and creative okay they like to be flashy center of attention okay you know what i'm saying not in a bad way sometimes not in a bad way but they're very creative in their fashion um in their arts whatever their passion is they're very dope in that you feel me where scorpios they're they're strengthening in emotions okay they're uh water signs and uh some they're water signs but they strengthen their emotions and their feelings okay they're very strong in their feelings ain't no change in that okay <laughs> where aquarius is an air sign okay they're very communicate communicate com excuse me communicative and loyal Okay, it's a lot of loyalty when it comes to these fixed signs. So anyway, cardinal signs, which is Aries, Cancer, Libra, Capricorn. Okay, these are the movers of the zodiac sign. They're visionaries. They are able to tolerate new beginnings and change and are able to make things happen out of thin air. You can count on them to, initi to initiate winning ideas and setting solid foundations. Okay. Where an Aries is a passionate, driven, spontaneous, hot head, and creative sign, okay? They don't play. You know what I'm saying? They loyal too, but they don't play, okay? They're very driven. They'll, they are driven in their own passion, and they'll help, they'll uplift you in your passion as well. They're very spontaneous, okay? They come out with, like, dope ideas or whatever, but... They're hotheads too. Don't mess with the Aries, okay? And Cancers. They are they are the emotional, sensitive, 
homebody caring and nurturing sign where they're very loving kind sometimes their love can be overbearing but it's not in a bad way like that's just who cancer is they're very loving they're kind you know what i'm saying they are very emotional they they do get their feelings hurt and they could get real crazy too but they're they're the loving they're the lovers pretty much of the sign they're very loving nurturing like to take care of others and before they take care of themselves that's just a cancer and a libra who is social flirtatious witty and a people pleaser okay this is an air sign i'm sorry aries is a, is a fire sign cancer is a water sign and libra is an air sign okay libras they supposed to bring the balance you know they uh balance out something in your life if it's going rather it's good or bad if you're going bad if you're going down they come and, and bring you up if you're doing good they might bring you down i don't know but that's a libra okay Capricorn is an earth sign. They are very ambitious, hardworking, loyal, structured, organized, and intense. You feel me? They are intensified workers. Capricorns are, they love to, to adventure. They like an Aquarius. They don't like to be, they're free-spirited. They don't like to be locked down. They do be loyal, you feel me? But they love money as well. They are, they always working. Always working. And they like structure, okay? So that's your cardinal sign. And the last sign is the mutable signs, okay? It's the Gemini, the Virgo, the Sagittarius, and the Pisces, okay? These signs are the highly adaptable, flexible, and communi communicative sign. They easily change. They're flexible. They go with the flow, and they are the chill friend, okay? Gemini is an air sign. They are down to try anything once. They embrace change and they are very highly intelligent, okay? You cannot double cross a Gemini, okay? They are very smart. They are very witty, okay? They are very clever and they will always correct you when you are wrong. That is a Gemini, okay? <laughs> but they are very intelligent, okay? Don't let don't let a gem fool you now, okay? Virgo. Virgo is an earth sign. They're focused, dedicated, and workaholics, okay? Virgos, they focus. They are dedicated. That's like loyalty. Um, and they work all the time, too. They like money. They like to have stuff. They like to have nice things and be in control, okay? A Sagittarius is a fire sign. They are the brutally honest <laughs> of the zodiac chart, okay? They are risk takers. They don't mind failing and trying again, okay? That in the end you can tell a Sagittarius anything. They are the chill friend. They are they're great listeners, I heard, okay? And something about Pisces. Pisces are water signs. They are emotional as well. They're very intuitive and artistic and they're healers, okay? You could uh, a, a Pisces pretty much goes with the flow of whatever your mood is that's like water so if you in a happy mood they're happy if you sad they sad if you mad they mad you know what i'm saying they're um but they're very intuitive they can pick up on your emotions is what i'm trying to say okay so I, that's a mutable sign i think that is very dope okay and before we get up out of here we about to see what the fuck is the problem okay Let's see what the fuck is the problem, collective. Why are you trying to balance out practicality and spirituality? Or just understand religion, okay? Ooh. Holy Spirit, what does the collective need to know? Something about work on your jealousy, okay? Don't be mad if people surpass you at this time. That means it's just not your time, but your time is coming, okay? Or somebody around y'all need to work on their jealousy because you trying to understand. They don't understand this new this new uh, person or this new energy about you, okay? They need to work on their jealousy. They need some healing, okay? Or you. What else, Holy Spirit? What else? Somebody, you seriously need therapy, Somebody needs some therapy, okay? Because somebody is really jealous. You, you're not supposed to be jealous. You're supposed to be empowering and helping and uplifting each other. You feel me? 
Ooh. Let me see what that says. This one says, find some peace and quiet. So that fell on the floor. So y'all not finding no peace and quiet. Y'all need to go find some peace and quiet. Rather if it's outside and sitting in your car, going in a corner, whatever. Okay, go find some peace and quiet. Okay, let me get two more Holy Spirit. Thank you. Somebody, you got yourself in this mess. Now clean this shit up, okay? <laughs> y'all need to clean up something out of y'all life. Core cut, meditate. Talk to the higher power. Ask what moves do I need to make? You know what I'm saying? To get out of whatever mess that I'm in. Rather if it's financially, um, love, living, people, places, whatever. Just talk to God about it. You feel me? Pray, meditate. And once you meditate and be quiet, go in there, go find peace and quiet and meditate. You'll get your answers, okay? Your spirit guides are now drinking because of you. I guess because of this mess y'all in. I don't know. And Spirit said, love yourself first. Boo yeah. Okay. I'm going to give y'all this angel number. And I'm going to give y'all something about what y'all chakras, what y'all need to work on. And then these positive affirmations. And I'm out of here. I hope y'all enjoyed this drop in knowledge. I hope y'all learned something today. Okay. Something about the number four. It could be your birthday could be on the fourth day of a month. It could be the fourth month. Number four is your life path number. Or you keep seeing the number four, okay? I don't know. Or number four, it could be your favorite number. Whatever. Or something about the number four, okay? Number four, it says, let your truth be your teacher. Trust in all that you feel and let your joy lead, okay? That's what the angel number said, okay? Let's see about these chakras. What does the collective need to work on? In their chakras. Oh, that's a lot. Let me just get a couple, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Your first chakra, which is your base chakra, okay? Your base chakra is in the guts, okay? Something about the belly, okay? The abdomen, okay? Something about responsibility. I plant myself on solid ground by consistently taking responsibility and having personal accountability for all that I do. I allow others to depend on me being responsible. My actions speak louder than my words. I rise above excess and overindulgences as I forgive myself for my past discretion indiscretions excuse me i know i could not have acted in a more evolved way than i was able to at the time so taking responsibility or being more responsible okay in your life in this lifetime no matter what the situation is okay spirit says just re just remember to love yourself okay Work on that jealousy. Find some peace and quiet. Get you some, some meditation time. You feel me? So you can connect with the higher realm, the higher power. The last one is the, the solar plexus, your third chakra, okay? Which is right here. I think that's the sternum. I don't know. But per your personal power. It's time to get into your personal power, okay? I choose to be myself and to express my truth. I have a positive influence on the people and the situations around me. I allow my integrity and confidence to shine, which instills more confidence and belief in myself and then encourages others to have natural confidence in me. I do not allow my personal power to become egotistical, manipulative, or exploitive, okay? So Spirit is saying it's time to tap into, take responsible be responsible and take time for self love self okay take ownership and personal power but don't use it in a bad way use it in a good way set boundaries know that you have to love yourself before you could love other situations rather if it's family friends children your passion you have to connect with the higher power your chakras must be in a line collective okay now Time for these affirmations. Time to get your pens, your papers, your phones, your notes, whatever. Okay? Journal. This is I am what I am upgrading my life. 
I am chosen. I am greatness. I am an image of God. Okay. I am healing. I am a rich spirit. I am healthy and I am wealthy. Okay. And then I don't chase. I attract. Okay. I don't chase. I attract. Okay. And the best one ever is I am never going back to that dark place ever again. Okay. I love y'all collective. I hope y'all learned something in this session. I will get back with y'all. Thank you for coming in and on dropping knowledge to get some knowledge. Tell a friend of 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 a friend to come over here. They might learn something, okay? I love y'all to live. Like this video. Share this video, okay? Subscribe to this. It's a new vibe, okay? I love y'all. God love y'all more, and I'm going to get back. Peace.